Okay, so when it comes to tech, I'll try out anything. And today we're taking a look at the Alfaro Laser 1 laser engraver. And to tell you the truth, I, I didn't even know that, that was even a thing. But as much as I was intimidated in the beginning, I figured out, and this thing is a blast. Stay tuned. I'm going to give you my thoughts from view on this up next. So this is the Ofero Laser 1 laser engraver. And I'll be upfront with you, I'm a total beginner when it comes to laser engraver. But it's not to say that you can't get started and start engraving some really cool things from the beginning. So when it comes to what was inside the box, well, at first it was a little intimidating. Of course, we have the laser engraver. We have the laser. Um, we have a, uh, we've got some additional connections here. This one is actually a cutting laser, more, cutting laser more on that later. But yeah, uh, you've got a little compressor attachment here. Uh, you've got your me your measurement, uh, no, no, your measurement cylinder. You've got some base uh, base mounts here. You actually lock down an, uh, uh, your laser engraver to a separate mount. Uh, you got some screws there. You got the compressor hose as well, and you've also got some uh, cutting plywood uh, strips as well that you can actually test out the engraver, a uh, brush and some brush and zip ties, and also. This right here so you can actually practice uh, focusing your laser. I know right now it seems kind of intimidating. It's like, what? Huh? Bolting down, uh, laser focusing, all that stuff, and, and pumps for compressor. I get it. It sounded a little intimidating in the beginning, but it totally was not. All right, so once you take everything out of the box, uh, you're going to see, again, that you just have your laser engraver and the laser and a ferro. They made this super simple when it comes to actually setting this up. Just get the laser engraver. Your laser engraver. That's going to be a mouthful. Just get the laser engraver, set, set, uh, set it up, uh, get your actual laser, and all you do is just slide it down, tighten a little pin right there, and then just put the ground to the laser, and you're good. That's it. You're essentially good to go. And you're probably like, well, what else do I do? Well, then you take the included USB cord and also the AC adapter. You plug that in, plug the USB cord to your laptop, and then you're going to download a, a software called Laser Garble or Laser GRBL. That's the actual software that's going to enable you to uh, take images or JPEGs and load it up and actually start printing from there. Now I get it, what I just said may seem like what I'm still lost, but I'm telling you it's really super simple. It's, it's as simple as you have your later, plug it into your laptop, and then choose, choose an image you want to engrave, and that's basically it. There are some tweaks you can do here and there, but we'll go over it through this, uh, through this video. So with that being said, let's engrave something and see how super fast and simple and cool this actually is. So I'm gonna open up my program, the Laser Garble or the Laser GRBL. Load it up and I'm gonna take my low nose uh, logo and we're gonna start with that. Now, since my laser engraver is already connected to my laptop, all I'm going to do is, well, number one, I gotta turn the power on. All right, cool, and it'll go back to reset position. Now, if you don't want to, you know, have this position as your default position, through the software, you can have any position as your default position, whether it's for a better vantage point or you just, you know, you just want to have it somewhere else, you can do that. Uh, once that is powered on, we'll go to our software and we'll just go to connect. And as you can see, it just goes and it brings up everything. Now we're just going to look for our image. So I'll go into my computer, I'll go to file, I'll, I'll open a file. Okay, we'll go, we'll go to this icon to open file. And then we'll just find my logo and it will bring it up. Now open it up and then it brings up a preview and you can see like these simple instructions. You can plus with, uh, play with the brightness, the contrast, uh, the white clipping. You can see how that, how that affects. Again, there are other tutorials on how to program, but basically you're gonna spend most of your time just, you're gonna print something and you're gonna adjust something. Well, what does it do there? What does it do there? You know, just seeing how it works. Uh, you can either do line to line tracing where it, it actually tries to engrave all of the colors, all the shades uh, within the image, or you can do a vector where it basically just creates an outline. You'd probably do that way if you actually want to cut something out and you know, cut uh, cut it on the actual uh, plywood and then pop it out. That may be uh, what you want to do. Um, but if you want like really detailed shading, then you'd probably go with the line to line tracing. Again, totally new with this. These are the th these are the two options I've been uh, working with. Uh, once that's done, then I'll go to next. Right, and then I have my options. How fast do I want my laser to work? And at the same time, what max power do I want my laser to work at? Now, I wanna say this right now that I kinda made a mistake when uh, when getting this laser. All I saw was power, and I chose the laser with the most power. That was, that's good if I want to actually make cutouts 
uh, either on cardboard or actual um, or actually plywood, which is why I'll actually use the condenser uh, um, the condenser uh, attachment. I'm sorry, compressor attachment. There's there's lesser powerful lasers that are meant for engraving, like with real detail. And now I'm kind of doing the detail work with this powerful laser. So that's kind of like the position I put myself in. But it says, you know, it's not to say I can't still have fun doing some engraving. I still can. I just have to put it at a lower at a lower power. Um, but with that being said, okay, so we can see here that I have my my max. My it goes all the way to 1,000 for 100 percent. I have my engraving speed at 1,000. Right. So if you want to go uh, slower. Uh, so you can use less power but get a deeper cut. You can shorten that number. If you wanted to go faster, you would raise that number up. Uh, but I'm gonna leave my my max at 500. No, actually, since I'm, we're gonna be testing on wood, uh, I'm gonna put on 700. Okay, and I'll leave my uh, my size at 80 to 45 so it can actually sit on this. And again, when it comes to the size, you're gonna want to play with these numbers uh, uh, and see where these things fall. Now, of course, let's keep in mind. I have this on my table right here. Obviously, I don't want to cut on my table. So what I like to do is I like to run tests and use cardboard instead. Okay, and as you can see, like it's still safe to do it on cardboard. So I've got these images right here uh, that I did for my daughter. And then, yeah, it was just kind of there. You can see um, it's not the vector, it's the full line to line. And it actually, it burns to actually create the shades of the image. I've got other ones here where they're a little uh, darker. Darker, and also here, I've got another test of my logo here as well. And then you can see here that I went super powerful there. And and there as well. Okay, so I, I like using cardboard as a t as a test bed. Okay, so actually, so let's actually get to get this go. I'm gonna go ahead and press create. All right, and then we can see our, our image. And as the as the laser move, it's gonna go from left to right, line to line. You can you actually see the lines on the image as well, and where the laser is actually gonna attract. Okay, now. We're gonna we're gonna set our focus, and what we want to do is we want to take our focus paper, and of course our measuring stick here as well. So what I'm going to do is we're gonna get, we're gonna get the correct height. So what I want to do is I want to I want to lift up my whoops, I'll lift up my my laser shield guard. I want to put this right here, and I actually want to have the uh, I guess the heat dissipator. Right, we want that touching the actual thing, but at the same time, we want to keep in mind that we're going to have our um, our plywood on the bottom. So I'm going to set it up here, and I'm going to adjust this to sit on it, and then there we go, our laser is set. It's at its uh, appropriate height. And you would do that for the different materials that you're doing. I'll go ahead and close that, and our laser is, is set. And then let's go ahead, let's uh, bring this back here, and we'll test the focus. And we can hear it lining up. And then right there, I can see that the, the focus of the laser being set uh, right there as well. All right, so let's turn that off. Okay, and I'm now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my paper, or actually my plywood, and it looks pretty good. And I'll set it right here where I can see where the focus is going to be. Okay, yeah, right there. Actually, let's bring it more back so we can see the entire thing. Yeah, there we go. Now bring that back. Okay. And now what I can do, you know, I know I didn't, I know I did put my measurements, but what we can do is we can put a frame. Hold on, first I'm gonna set this as our, our zero point, our home. There we go, so that's, it'll always recognize that at home, as our home. Now I'm going to press frame and our laser will actually make a, a virtual frame around so we know that we're, we're, we're in, we are within our border of our of our material. So I'll press that. Now we can see how it's actually creating a frame right there. It won't go outside of that border. All right, cool. Now all I can do now, now that everything's set, I can go ahead and start this and put my, well, protectors for my eyes. And according to the software, it says it's going to take about four minutes to do this. Now, at the same time, this could be done faster if I made the image smaller, if I decided to not put so much power on the laser or have it uh, go at a quicker pace. Instead of 1,000, I could have put it at 1,500. It could have done this job within maybe like in two minutes. 
But of course, you'll wanna play with these numbers. Of course, if it's faster, then you may lose detail and quality, but if you go slower, you're gonna get uh, you know, more even shades, more even burns throughout the, ent the entirety of the material when it's uh, creating its design. And then of course, if your image comes out too dark, too light, then that's when you wanna either play uh, or test with the different power and the speed of the laser as well. And I, I, I've been trying all sorts of different images, like you saw with my daughter and stuff. Full, full blown uh, uh, JPEGs of sunsets, just been trying it all. Um, and it's been fantastic. Again, like I said before, it's been kind of limited because, again, I picked a laser that was meant for cutting when I should have gotten a laser that was meant for engraving. So I'd like the opportunity to actually, you know, try a, a laser that's not as strong um, so I can really get some fine detail or actually do it on fabric. Uh, on you know on paper you know so I can really get that uh, when I've done my test on on the cardboard while I would still get the design you could see how it, can, it cuts lines within the cardboard itself because the laser itself is so strong and when I would go with lower power for the laser then well you know um, it, it would be just as light so you want to keep in mind there's three different lasers there's a most powerful one for cutting there's a medium one that can actually engrave a uh, metal and then of course you have the other one that can actually do uh, fabric and, uh, and paper and, and things like that, but for sure. So we're almost done with this and let's see uh, what it looks like. And all right, we are done. Here it is, I got my logo on here and check it out. Again, like I said, you know, check it out. You know, we still have our engraving, but do, if you can look, the detail is kind of missing me, mainly because we got a laser, or well, I got a laser that's meant for cutting and not engraving. But you can still see that there's great, uh, a lot of good detail there, trying to get the shading in. Uh, of course, if I did uh, the outline, the vectorizing, we'd have just had a really quick outline and it'd gone a lot faster. Uh, yeah, check it out, what you see? Actually pretty cool. With that being said, let's do a real quick, uh, uh, vector outline and that's gonna go super fast let's go let's load it up again I'm saying it's gonna be uh, less than a minute to finish this yeah and if you see smoke going by well obviously it's a laser it's burning and it's cutting wood uh, but to, from my experiences I haven't had anything close to you know, something to be concerned about, especially since I was testing on cardboard. Uh, it's a really focused uh, laser, um, and I've never once had an issue where it's like, uh oh, something might happen. But of course, you want to be responsible. You always want, you know, you want to be in front of it, keep an eye on it, uh, and just monitor what's happening. Of course, be safe. All right, and it is done. Check it out, what do you think? Pretty cool, right? It's pretty awesome. And we look at my, oh uh, yeah, look at that. It actually got through, it actually kind of left the art mark on my, uh, on my desk. Exactly, you know, that's why you need something under it. Yeah, oh no, it, pro it probably just it took the, uh, uh, yeah, I guess the ash from the previous one and just kind of put on the actual table when applying the heat. No big, you know, that's why you probably want something under it anyway, but I should have done that. But yeah, man, super cool. That's that's pretty cool. And, and you know, you can just engrave or just try things all day long. All right, so let me give you my final thoughts on the Aero, uh, the Afero Laser One, the laser engraver. Uh, number one, super, e super easy to use. I thought, uh, I gotta tell you this thing, I actually, I was actually intimidated by what it was and how, how much time I have to, how much time I have to put in to actually learn this. Um, yeah, once it's set up, I actually wasted 20 minutes thinking to myself what else I need to do when I was all set to go. Um, once I found out the actual software that I need to use to actually get this thing going, then that was simple. All I do is just find an image and just go. Uh, the one thing that you wanna do is, uh, is play with the sizes. Right, a lot of times, you know, you may think that you want to have a, you know, you might want to engrave something big. Well, then play with the size and see what the laser can actually do. Um, but this was like by 80 by 45. I think it was like millimeters, millicenters. I'm not really sure how it goes. Uh, yeah, but again, just super simple. Sh I shouldn't have gotten the the uh, the super strong laser. I should have gotten some either the medium laser or the um, the regular laser. Um, but outside of that, yeah, super super fun, super cool. Uh, definitely been have been be trying this and you know doing all sorts of crazy engravings. Personally, for this household, we've been buying a lot of uh, disposable disposable plates. 
we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna get some plastic plates and we're gonna put we're gonna name these uh we're gonna engrave the plates with, people, uh, with the people's names uh, so they can wash their own dish. Anyway, guys, uh, that's my review uh, and test of the Euro a Faro a Faro Laser One Laser Engraver. Really hope this helped you out. Take care. Bye. Don't forget, if you found this video helpful, well then make sure to subscribe. If you liked it, well then leave a like and also ding that notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos as well. As always, links in the description, description down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.